What's going on guys? It's King Tuts Pro. Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. All right guys, so I'm going to show you in this tutorial how to create your own LUTs in Final Cut Pro 10 while well, using Photoshop to create your LUTs and then importing that into Final Cut Pro 10. Now there's lots and lots of videos already on YouTube showing you how to create custom LUTs from Photoshop into Adobe Premiere Pro, but there isn't many showing you how to create custom LUTs with Final Cut Pro 10, and I want to show you guys how to do that in this video. Now you do want an application that allows you to export your color adjustments on an image into a cube um, or a LUT file extension. All right guys, so the first thing you want to do is jump into Final Cut Pro 10. And here I have the custom LUT that I actually created in Photoshop and I already showed you guys this in the beginning of the clip. But here we have the after. So this is the before and then the after that we created in Photoshop. So it's really easy. What you will need first of all is a screenshot of your actual video clip that you want to color grade or color correct. In this case I'm going to use this footage here and right now it's a flat video. It's recorded in 4K as a rec 709 color space uh, format. So if you have a video that is flat in terms of color, then you're really, really good. You don't want a video that is too saturated or too uh, contrasty because you know color grading and adjusting the colors in Photoshop is gonna be a little bit tricky. So once we have the video here, we wanna select, we're gonna go onto the top here and we're gonna go onto the save current frame. You're probably not gonna have that, so you're gonna have to add it. So we're gonna go onto the uh, file and then we're gonna go to share and then we're gonna go to add destination This is if you don't have the uh, save current frame in your destination So all you got to do is just click add destination and then drag your uh, This one here it says save current frame drag that into this panel here And then you're gonna have it in this okay, and then your export you want to save that as a tiff file The reason we save it as a tiff file is so that it keeps the color space as a rec 709 You can do JPEG, but that compresses it a lot and you can do a PNG image, but I would do TIFF. It pretty much exports the uh, photo or the video as a um, high resolution raw image, if that makes sense. So just save it as a TIFF and you can scale that if you want. So I'm gonna exit out of that. So then we're gonna go to the top again and we're gonna click save current frame. So wherever the time head is at in the timeline, that is what it's gonna export, okay? So you can see it's a 4K video. This is what we have, okay? So we're gonna go into screen. I'm gonna type in a screen one just because I already did this. And setting, we wanna save that as a TIFF file. Click next, save it to where you want. I'm just saving it to my desktop. And then once it's imported into Photoshop, the next thing you wanna do is you wanna create the image if you imported it into Photoshop as a background image. If not, you're gonna get an error when you export the image as a LUT. So to do that, just go to layer, new and then do background from layer. This way Photoshop creates the layer and it converts it into a background layer because you're gonna get a error if you don't do that. Select the actual background or the picture and then go ahead and start making your adjustments. You can go into the adjustments tab or you can go to window and then adjustments and I'm gonna go into the levels or curves, sorry, and I'm gonna increase the shadows a bit and I'm gonna decrease the highlights so we kind of make it a little bit more contrasty as you can see. So now we can see what we've done. We can do it before and after. This makes it so that when we add the color grading or color correcting uh, or we increase the hue or saturation, it will bring out the colors a lot more. It just makes it a little bit more vibrant. So we're gonna go to the hue and saturation now and we're gonna increase or decrease this hue. I'm gonna make it a little bit kind of teal, I kind of like that teal and orange look or that teal, yeah, that teal and orange look. I think it looks really cool with this clip. We can increase or decrease this. In this case, I'm gonna increase it just a little bit around eight and we're gonna bring the lightness down to about negative four, okay? So we can see now we've made our adjustments here in the color and you can see that it's a little bit more blue, a little bit more orange, okay? And then to kind of finalize the effect here, um, I'm gonna go into the uh, photo filter and I'm gonna do filter and I'm gonna do orange because I want some orange in this um, Picture or this LUT I guess and we can increase this or we can decrease it So I'm gonna increase it just a tad around 13 10 to 15 percent is is a sweet spot 
So we can see that it's a little bit more orange now and it looks a little bit more warm. Now when you're ready to export into a LUT, all you have to do is go to File and then go to uh, Export and then go down to Color Lookup Table. So click on that. You should have this window here. If it doesn't pop up, it means your background is not set as a background layer. So you will have to go on to the layer, new, and background from layer. And that just converts it to a background layer. So then go ahead and give it a, a name. I'm just name the, the uh, this to 02. And you can do a copyright or whatever. The formats here, you'll want everything but, um, I mean, if, if you're trying to go for the standard LUT, then just go with Cube. That works with most applications. But since we're working with Final Cut, I think Final Cut Pro 10 only accepts Cube format so select cube and then the grid points we're going to do 64 which is high and we're going to click on ok now give it another name if you want i'm going to do two i'm going to save it as um and we have where we can do desktop and i'm click on save so when you export your image it's going to turn into a dot cube extension so now we're going to go into final cut pro 10 and i'm going to delete the effects here and show you how to do it so we're going to go to the effects but like I said, if you're running an older version of Final Cut Pro 10, 10.4 or earlier, then you're going to have to use a plugin called MLUT by Motion VFX. Video isn't sponsored or something similar to where you can install some LUTs. Or if you're running on the latest version of Final Cut Pro 10, which is 10.4 or newer, then you can go ahead and just go into the um, effects tab and just look up custom LUT and just drag that into the video. And I'm going to drag that onto the clip here. And then we're going to go into show and we're going to do load custom LUT. This should also be the same as if you were doing it without a plugin. And then we're going to go into the desktop. I'm going to select this one, which is a dot cube. I'm going to click on load. Just give it a second since the LUT is um, pretty CPU intensive, I guess. And there you go. So now you can see that we've added our own custom a look and feel to the video by color grading or color correcting or using a custom LUT that we've created with Photoshop in Final Cut Pro 10. And you can see how beautiful it looks. So now if we do it before and then after, you can see how much better that looks. And if I go back and I change this to better performance, you're gonna see how it looks like if I push play. And you're gonna see how beautiful that looks. So if you guys found this tutorial helpful, be sure to leave a like, guys. Be sure to leave your comments down in the comment section for whatever videos you guys uh, want to see next. And subscribe. I post videos just like this for Final Cut Pro 10. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Also, if you guys are wondering why there's a balloon back there, it's my two-year anniversary this month with my girlfriend. So uh, there goes that.